In an earlier video, I discussed electronegativity and polar covalent bonds. Let's compare polar and nonpolar covalent bonds here. In hydrogen fluoride, fluorine is more electronegative and hydrogen is less electronegative. Fluorine attracts the shared pair of electrons, creating a dipole moment. An arrow is drawn towards the atom with higher electron density, fluorine in this example. Delta positive and delta negative notations can be shown at hydrogen and fluorine respectively to indicate partial positive and negative characteristics. And the bond is called a polar covalent bond. Since this molecule only has one bond, we can conclude HF is a polar molecule. A dipole moment occurs between atoms of different electronegativity. But what about a covalent bond between atoms of the same electronegativity? Take the example of molecular hydrogen, H2. There is only one covalent bond, or shared pair of electrons. Because both atoms are hydrogen, there is no difference in electronegativity. Thus, there is no attraction of the electrons towards either atom. The bond is said to be a nonpolar covalent bond. And since there is only one bond, we can conclude that H2 is a nonpolar molecule.